All right, folks. Um, so, I'm sure a lot of you guys could kind of figure out what that was, but it's part of our continuing tour for the DOA 6 promotion. So hopefully some of you guys could make it out or at least support us on our next stop at Gamescom 2018. And speaking of DOA 6, we have a DOA 6 exhibition match planned right now. Um, give you guys a little taste of uh, what we have in store, introducing as well our brand new character, Diego. So without further ado, I'd like to hand this over to our man, Master. He'll take it over from here, Master and Travis. Of course. Thanks again, guys, appreciate it. Of course, it's been a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, are you ready for the DOA 6 experience? I hope you are, because we're about to get into it. Tell us about what's about to happen. Well, what's about to happen is something that you're not ready for, okay? I just want to make sure you understand I can't, this. I can't do it you're you. going to have the most made clips on Twitch ever. I can't do it. Right now. I just want you to know, okay? <laughs> That's what's going to happen here. So we have an exhibition match. We have Quiggle versus Dr. Impact. He's from France. Okay. And then we're going to also have Excalibur Blades versus Tani from Japan. Okay. Okay? And this is a single limb, uh, best of five, so first to three. Okay. And if you lose, you're out. If you win, you continue. Yeah. Special exhibition match just for the people back at home. What's the prize? Oh, I mean, you know, I can't say that on uh, stream. It's too good. It's too it's good. Too good to say. They on get stream. to take. They get to take this home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, they, they would probably enjoy that actually. Yeah. May, hey, they would. They would. So, what did you think of the grand finals overall? I thought it was phenomenal, man. It was you, crazy. You always. It, you always expect greatness, and then when those guys deliver it, it's it's just it's a good feeling. Yeah, it's it's good to see how much they how much work they put into it. Yeah. Um, not only that, just the the history they have with it, right? Yeah. How much uh, passion, how much time they dedicated, online, offline, traveling yeah. across the world. Uh, I mean, they're living the dream essentially. You know what I mean? They're 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 pursuing what they really love. Yeah, I mean, they get an opportunity to go and compete in something that they truly love, like you just said, and then they have an opportunity to also make some money from it. Exactly, exactly. And it's not like it was, you know, small money. I mean, you're talking about $6,000 is being distributed to these top right. eight players. Right. It's a, it's a good chunk of change. Yeah. You know, it's nice to come home and say, hey, nice you know, tell your wife, tell your, your mom, or your dad, like, yeah, you know, I just made three thousand dollars on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. I mean, and the most important thing that they get to do is they, they make new friends yeah or come back and see old friends exactly and that that's one of the things that's underrated about these sorts oh, of events 100 percent, 100 percent. i think a lot of people misunderstand the competitiveness uh that goes into you know all these tournaments yes but the friendships that are developed yes you know yes exactly uh, the 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 way that you you may have this sort of rivalry mm -hmm. but as soon as it's over you understand that you know you both are pursuing the same thing yep. and that is am i really that good yeah can i be that good Let's find out tonight. You know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, and you see it after every single game. They're always shaking each other's hands, saying, hey, good job, good match, and I'll see you online. Yeah. Because I'm on, I want that run back, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> they try to meet up online because they, 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 they're not going to get that luxury again to be in the same, pl in the same, in the same place at the yeah. same time in the same area. So, <clears throat> you know one of the things that I really like, one of the small touches that you guys made on this game? Yeah. Character select screen, you have a little subtitle to describe that person. So, it's like Kasumi, Kenochi of Destiny. Yeah. Or... Zach, DJ Funkmaster. You you're talking about you talking about the little cards. Yeah, the little cards. You like cards. that? It's okay. Dope. It's pretty okay. dope. It's I'm glad cool. you did. So right there, Doctor Impact on the left side, right here that you see on stream, mm -hmm. and Quiggle on the right side. Yeah. All the way from France. France. Came out here. He said he played. He doesn't have no sponsors on yeah. his own dime. It's pretty awesome. He said he wanted to play DOA Six. He wanted to be a part of all of the festivities here. Yep. So it's impressive to see and him come out here. And getting an opportunity to go against one of the best DOA 5 players that we have. Yep. In an exhibition match. Exactly. So he's going to be using Helena. And yeah, we're going to see Kasumi. And Quiggo as Kasumi. Yep. And of course, for those of you just tuning in, know, and if you don't know anything about DOA 6 in general, it's a new break gauge meter, right? That's, That's right. That's underneath the, the health bar. And as you can see, as the exchange blows, it builds up slowly over time. And once they get a certain amount of gauge built up, they can start expending it for special abilities such as a break hold or a break blow, right? Yep, that is correct. And the break hold will stop any hit level. Um, will take very little damage, but it kind of sets up the situation. Right there, you saw a Quiggle try to do the break hold. Did not work out for him. Right now, Dr. Impact going for the Fatal Rush, which is also a new mechanic. Yeah. Fatal Rush is a move that generally starts on as high 
And if it hits you, it's all guaranteed unless you stop and try to stun, extend the stun. But right now, and already you can see like the difference graphically between this game and DOA 5. It's, oh yeah. It's phenomenal. This game's beautiful. The lighting is in, in, incredible. I mean, wow. They exchanged the Exchange. exchanged hits on the get-up kick. I like the trade. Nice hold from Quiggles there. I talked to Dr. Impact earlier, right before this exhibition match. And he was telling me, he's like, I got to train. So he was in the line to play the DOA 6 demo for like hours, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. I like it. A lot of our players were dedicated to do, doing just that. Yep. And as they get closer to the end of this particular round, I wonder if we're going to see a break blow from either player. They have, both have full gauge. They do. He got Ooh. hit by the Fatal Rush right there. He could have done something right there. He tried to go for it again. Did not help. Did not work out for him. And now, nice stun. The one thing I wanted to touch on is they also have the side attack. You know what I'm saying? So the side attack is, you know, he side steps to the side and then attacks you. And it's really, really evasive. You did not get hit by any linear attack. If you have a linear attack into a tracking move, it'll interrupt it. Otherwise, you're getting smacked and you also get close to damage. Yeah, and that's the thing. It get, that's one of the cool parts about the new side step attack is it gets close hit damage and then it has such a, such a strong knockback that you can eventually send people into walls and get additional damage. It's a really good mechanic. Exactly. As you can see, Dr. Impact is really trying to fit in that Fatal Rush. It's yeah. not working out for him right now, but he does have the life lead in this round. He does, and I expect him to close it out pretty easily here. Nice. And that's a Fatal Rush we just saw. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Overkill. You get really <laughs> close and personal to let him know how you really feel. Yeah, and you can see the damage on Kasumi. So now she's got like a piece of her, her outfit missing from her abdomen, and she's got a little bit of blood coming down from her face as well. Yeah, she gets some battle damage. Yeah. The outfit gets torn up a little bit. Yeah. So it kind of shows that it's you know, a real fight, and they're going into it. Now, they both have full meter again, so we're going to see if Dr. Impact or any of them gets to use it right here. And I think I Dr. Think Impact is going to do see it right, right here. here. Look at it. It's such a cool animation. Again, Kasumi just taking it. Jeez. All the way to the wall. It takes about 40% health. But I like what we're seeing from Quiggles. He's still maintaining composure. Classic Quiggles. Returning the favor. Oh, my goodness. And getting that break blow to finish out the round, finish out the game. Yes. Getting a nice quick juggle. And then finishing off uh, the, with the break blow. And one thing to remember here is that if you do a Fatal Rush mm -hmm. and you have a full meter, mm -hmm. the Fatal Rush final blow will automatically trigger the break blow. I was wondering that. So it's an automatic trigger. It's not players choosing to use the break blow. Exactly. Got it. It's an automatic okay. trigger. And of course, the Fatal Rush juggles in the air. So as long as you can get that in there like he's doing right here, you're good. Yeah. It's good damage, too. Absolutely. So when we're looking at the, the Fatal Rush being used, is that the optimal combo to use? Or is it more or less just the easier one to execute? It's generally the easier one to execute. Uh, makes it easier to get a really nice and flashy combo. Yeah. And then also get the break low if possible. However, you can mix it up in between juggles and danger zones. So not only can you hit somebody to a wall or do the Fatal Rush into the wall, juggle them a little bit, and then and then go into the break low, you can also do it with danger zones like throw down where they knock you back in. There's yeah. different ways to apply it. Nice, nice. And I like the aggressiveness from Quiggles. Kasumi looks really good in DOA 6. No, she's really good, really good. The launchers have also changed, is one thing I want to mention. Yep. So people are capable of getting really creative with their combos, mm -hmm. doing what you, doing what they want to do, and then also implementing the new mechanic. Right there, you just saw a side attack Size. coming out of the Quiggle, getting the close hit damage. And I like the side, the side attack is so strong. It, 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 it hits hard, because you said, like you said before, the close hit damage. And then of course, it has the juggle potential because you can send them into the wall. Right. more damage and nice just, hold and it just feels good you know what i mean like you hit it you feel like you, you landed a successful hit right it's really good i like it and both players have um at least a bar to use to expend in a defensive situation we haven't seen a break hold used yet in this particular match well quick what they try to use it was unsuccessful with it he tried to just do it now. again yeah he was expecting to get uh mixed up and he uh unfortunately did not get mixed up so um, i have a question about the break hold is the active frames on that break hold shorter than a normal hold? Because that's what it looks like. No, it's currently the same. Currently, currently the, same? the same. Okay. It's like any other hold. Interesting. Dr. Impact taking that round right there. So what do you think Dr. Impact needs to do right here, though? Kind of catch up, because it seems like he's getting beat out in most of the exchanges. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'd, I'd like to see him run in and do some throws, kind of trying to just change up the entire approach completely, mm -hmm. trying to open up quickles that way. Right there, that's something. <laughs> That's something that a lot of people do not know right now is that Helena's guard break right there is like plus 33. Oh, so you got to be careful with that. <laughs> oh my God. Plus 33. <laughs> you got to be careful. But the French player knows that. So he's, he's, he's exploiting it. I wonder how the other players playing that were doing so much laughing didn't see, discover that. <laughs> Interesting. 
Plus 33, that's it's, nuts. It's, 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 it's really up there. I'm not sure if it's exactly plus 33, but it's up there. Listen, we just announced it. You might see Caliber Blade suddenly switch to Helena just to <laughs> use that guard break. Just to plus use the guard 33? Break. Guarantees a launcher right now. Wow. You know, that's there's some big. things that we need to look at. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But I, I know people are going to be clipping that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Clip that. Definitely. I like what we're seeing, though. So I think Quiggles is up two games to zero right now. Exactly. Dr. Impact definitely needs to uh, get on the board. Yeah. He's trying to mix it up now. He's trying to go for the throw, mixing it up between the throw and the uh, guard break, actually. They both have half of the meter, half the break gauge, and, and they can both do the break hold if they want to. But they're probably going to save it so they can get the break low. Yeah. Right here, this might kill, though. Yes, it will. I think so. He's using a classic DOA 5 combo right there. Yep. Closing out the, 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 the match very quickly. Yep. So now they both have it. I'm not sure if the Helena player is going to go for it. He does not. Drops the juggle. Gets punished for that. Yeah, and this is one of the things we were commenting on yesterday. So like when you have that full gauge meter at the start of a round or close to it, um, what's preventing you from actually just going ahead and using it? Because any meter that you don't use is waste meter, right? Right, essentially. Especially if you start off the round. You might as well use it. Rather it be a, rather it be a break blow or a break hold. Yeah. Because if you can get out of the situation, you're going to rebuild it at least within that round. You try oh, to go for it right there. It's not successful. And there it is. There's the size up attack. He could have finished him off there, but... Chose that he thought he thought he was gonna like try and low hold, uh -huh. missed it, and then of course got punished for it. Dr. Impact messed him up. Yep. So finally I get to see Dr. Impact do the side attack. He hadn't been using it at all, and I think that's something he needs to be using more. Yes. You know, Kasumi is not a super tracking character, Ooh. so it might be something he can do. And see, I like the new moves that Kasumi has, <laughs> man. Just, just I'm sure it. you do. As a Kasumi <laughs> main, I'm sure you do. Oh, and talk to us about that. What just happened? Why did that beat the wake up pick? So the break hold. What it has is it has parry mechanics for a certain amount of frames. Okay. Now you can still interrupt it within uh, if it's after that window, but okay. within the certain uh, the beginning window, uh, the beginning frames, it can actually parry all highs and all mids. So nice. that's what happened right there. There was a mid get up kick coming out. He timed it perfectly and he went right through it and hit him. Nice, and that's what I like to see. I mean, I, that's a really cool mechanic because now it's going to change up the game, right? For right. a wake up situation, like if you're chasing someone down, they're rolling away. They could potentially get up and use a break blow to defend themselves, right? Right, exactly. Not only that, the break hold as well. You do a mid get a pick, low get a pick, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You had the advantage at first, or you thought you were going to get the advantage, but now they flipped it on you. Yeah. Oh, oh with a back dash. And Kasumi still has that while yes. rising. I like it. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna we're gonna work into that though. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are. I bet you're gonna yeah. try something. Also, Let's important thing to know is that you can throw the side uh, the side step mm -hmm. and the side attack as well. Okay. You can also throw the beginning frames of the break blow. Okay. So that's something that people were probably questioning about. Can you do that? It has it been adjusted? Yes, you can. Yeah, so I noticed the break blow has two weaknesses, right? You can throw it in the beginning and then you can beat it out with a low attack. You can beat it out with a low attack, attack. Yeah. 100% of the time. You can also interrupt it, like I said, as long as it closes that beginning window. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's, there's different ways to go at it. Mm -hmm. uh, it just depends what you think is best. Um, you can also step it. You can also block it and punish it. Yep. Uh, so it's not, it's not like a one button win everything. You yeah. just got to be careful. So let's talk about some of the characters, because we just saw Kasumi on the screen. We saw Helena on the screen. Some yep. of the other characters that are in this build are Hayabusa. Yes. What have you seen? What's new with Hayabusa right now? Well, Hayabusa has a few extra moves, uh, especially in the Nimbo stance. Yeah. So he can actually spin with some fire, and then he can catch you in the air. Okay. He has two types of air, air, aerial throws, so he has like a traditional one. Why? It looks like, don't worry about that. Why? We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you give him two it's, types it's, of aerial It was throws? necessary. He's the ninja. He's the super ninja, first oh of all. Oh, my gosh. Get and this guy on screen. Let's skip the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> so he has two kinds of air throws. Just a basic one that looks normal. And then the other one has like electricity coming around his hands. So I was wondering that. So is it is it like we gave him two types of throws and one has electricity. Is that the stronger throw? Yes. Okay. That's gotcha. the stronger throw. And um, he also has the aerial throw from the nimble stance. So even though he does that fire, yeah. he'll go back into the stance and he actually catch you in the air. Yeah, I mean, to. it's a really cool animation. I've really enjoyed yeah. it. That's one of the other things that I've liked about DOA 6 is that the animations have been, look like they've been reworked, redone yep. a little bit, touched up a bit. It's really one, nice. One thing that's really new that a lot of players really didn't see in this matchup, and mm -hmm. uh, Helena could do it, a bunch of players, a bunch of characters can do it. Yep. And um, Hayabusa, in this uh, in this case, he can actually do the down four plus plus K yeah. into the, the kick. So it's like the scoop into the kick yeah. and the juggle, and it'll bound you, and you can still... I've seen that, I've seen that, I've yeah. seen that. So and you... in that bound, mm -hmm. even after a juggle, and then bound, you can mm -hmm. still do the break blow and oh go right God. into it. Why? So it's, Why? It's, hey, a lot hey, of characters can do that. Take that away from Hayabusa now. <laughs> No, we don't need that. <laughs> so now we, awesome. have, now we have Tani from Japan. He's yep. on the right side, and we've got Excalibur on the left side right here. 
Yeah, and Tommy had a heartbreaking loss earlier in top 16 losers. Yeah. But, I mean... I heard it was very emotional for him. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was heartbreaking because, I mean, obviously he puts in so much effort and he's one of those guys that wears his heart on his sleeve, right? So yeah. when, when he didn't win, you know, it was, it was just one of those moments where he's like, I didn't win. And yeah, you can see it. It was written on his face. That's rough. And there's something that maybe some of the viewers at home don't know or maybe some of the people watching right now here at Evo, mm -hmm. and that is he actually did a fund me. He did a GoFundMe. Oh, really? And the community came together. Really? And, and, and got him here. He got him here. So he was able to meet his, you know, his limit and then was able to come out here because of the community. Uh, I it together. think I heard about that. Yeah. So he, didn't he say something like if he won Evolution, then he would use that money to pay back everybody? Yeah, essentially. Along yeah. Those lines? yeah. He has certain stipulations. I'm not exactly sure, but he did say something along those lines. Yeah. Okay. So, of and course, it was extra emotional for him because, yeah, for you sure. know, everybody brought him here. Yeah, he was trying to do it for the community. Yep. I can see why he was extra emotional about it then. Yep. So, what we're seeing here is Zach versus Jan Lee. And it's and interesting to see Jan Lee with Excalibur Blaze. I was thinking he was going to go straight to Diego. I did, too. But, maybe hey, he's they, got, saving, but saving they got three Diego. matches. They got three matches. So, he's going to probably switch it up. <laughs> maybe. Maybe he's going to try and demonstrate all the characters. He's smart. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Zach's so, everybody smart. at home can watch. Right now, Tani's just going in with Zach. Very familiar. Obviously, because he plays Zach and DOA 5, so... Zach is actually capable of knocking you into the air and still doing his kick, kick, kick string. Yeah. Because the kick, kick, kick string will still bounce you in the air. Oh, my goodness. And that's one of the new strings for Jan Lee, right? That is correct. So it was that as well. Two new strings. Yeah. That was kind of cool. So that was that like a low high? Yeah, or? low high. Okay. But the low clearly doesn't stun a normal hit. I think if the low hits you, it guarantees the second one. Interesting. Why would you give that? It's, it doesn't give you anything crazy. You need to relax. You need to relax. <laughs> There's still a lot no. of things going on. <laughs> I'm, I am literally all for overpowered moves, so I, I like seeing this stuff. The more that's in the game, the better. No, we, we're, we're definitely focusing on the fun aspect of the game. Exactly. As exactly. well as, you know, the balancing as well. So right no. now, everybody has had a great time with it, and I'm really Ooh, happy almost for got it. it. Yeah, he almost had that right there. I like yeah. that. That's a cool animation for Jan Lee. Yeah. It fits in really nicely with his style, with G Kun Do, right? Right, straight from the Dragon Sands. Exactly. <laughs> and right now, Excalibur just taunting Tani. He said, I don't care if you know Zach. Yeah, no, I'm glad you guys kept the taunts in the game. It's always been a staple of Dead or Alive 5 any, or Dead or Alive series. Oh, yeah. So, very cool. So Tani trying to put in some pressure right now. He tries to do something That's to, to send him to the wall. Yeah, he, I guess he was trying to hold. Nice side attack from. Tani. Exactly, and you saw he could get some extra damage from that side attack because he sent him into the wall. Right. Oh, oh he, he missed went, it. Went but he goes, for for the, he goes for the crush, gets away. May be able to still get away with this. There it is. Oh, wow. And, and perfect timing for Caliber Blades there. Yep. X Caliber Blades was literally just waiting. I was like, I'm waiting for him to do a move, time it, and then get it. And that's the thing. This is what, that's just been the story this entire weekend, right? Yeah. These players, when they're playing DOA 6, giant smiles on their face the entire time. Yes. They're truly enjoying themselves. It's clearly been a hit amongst the competitive players and casual players alike. It's just a, such a fun title. Well, it's, the funny thing is a lot of players and a lot of people in general, even media, mm -hmm. have come to it, this, this version of the game right here. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, this feels like the DOA that's like, we, we, we didn't even think would be possible. It's right. like, it's so much fun. It feels good. It has a little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. Yeah. A lot and of people are enjoying it right now. I think that's one of the most important parts is been able to blend old and new together yeah. into a complete title. Yeah. The team back in Japan, we got to give them a hand uh, of applause because they've been working really hard to bring yeah. this for the community. So uh, special shout outs to everybody back in Japan. I can uh, only imagine. Yes. Yeah. It's it's. They're trying to make it happen for you guys. They're trying to make it happen. We're happy to do it. I mean, and, and it always starts with the look of the game. And you can't say it enough. The stages look incredible. The artwork of this, that team back in Japan needs another round of applause. This yes. is some incredible stuff. So here we're going in right now. Excalibur again with Jan Lee. Yeah, and we, and we see that Jan Lee has that, that Dragon Gunner, classic Dragon Gunner still. Okay, nice, nice side nice. attack. Here. Yeah. Okay, the break hold coming out of Excalibur Blaze. So, so when the break hold is executed, right? Yes. Is any one player at advantage? The person that executes the break hold does have the advantage. Okay. So they're advantageous after the break hold. Okay. Um, not by a whole lot. I couldn't yep. tell you the specific amount of them. Yeah, of but frames, there is but, some type but there of is advantage. an advantage. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Wow, great combo from Caliber Blaze there. I'm trying to go for the fatal wedge. It's unsuccessful. Nice. Nice. Break low in mid-string, mind you. Yes. In mid-string. Mid-string. And that's the options that players have when they're on defense. They can use it to go through attacks. It's crazy. It's, it's, 
what Tani essentially did there was use his knowledge of the break low mm -hmm. and just say, you know what, I don't care what string you're doing at me, as long as it's not low, I'm coming at you. Yeah, and that's what you're saying. These guys have had the game for two days, right? Yeah. And they've already incorporated the mechanics into their everyday play. Nice side attack from Tani was unsuccessful, gets blocked. All side attacks can be punished with a throw. Yes. Not a nice effort from Caliber plays here. Caliber trying to come in, put in some pressure. And, I, and that's the classic DOA where you're having that staring contest and you're like, who's going to press the button? Yep. Ooh, he can't, he's doing it. He's timing that. He, exactly. He knows exactly. He knows he can get away with that. So anytime he sees the animation coming at him, he, went, he goes ahead and, and uses the break blow. That's almost better than a hole, in a sense. Well, you don't have to worry about in, whether or not it's high or mid. mid. Within in, in between strings, yes, it mm -hmm. would feel better than a hole, but. If you bait it out, that can leave you open because you can block it and punish it. It's not a guard break of any kind. Yes. And you can sidestep it as well. Yes. I did notice that. But one other thing we've noticed about the break holds as well. So does every character, every character obviously has a break hold. But we've noticed, at least in this current build, that the break hold will put them at um, different uh, positions. So sometimes they're very close and sometimes they're really far away. Is there anything that controls that? No, they're about the same, to be honest with you. Uh, each character will vary a little bit, yes. but um, the advantage is roughly about the same. Yep. The spacing generally is about the same, unless you're by a wall, maybe gotcha. a cliff, maybe a crowd. Yeah. Just, that's the only thing that would really change that. Okay, cool. And it opens up with a fatal rush. I like it. Yep. And, and look at this. Look at the damage he got from the wall just from one fatal rush. Yeah, and then right here, Tani's trying to repay the fatal with the side attack. Gets nice damage into the wall. But not enough to, you know, catch up. There it is again, though. Side step through the wall. And again, Tani, nice I just realized he switched characters to Hayabusa. He did. We're going to see if he executes any of the new moves. They're both about even. Ooh. Right now. That's a nice. That was a gut punch there. Yeah. Check them. And Excalibur, both characters actually, both have the break gauge completely filled. They can do the break below or use the break hole twice. Now, one thing to remember, though, is to do the break blow, you have to have the full meter. To do the break hold, you only need half. Yeah. Nice hold from Tani. Nice touch. Could have, could have, could have been punished there. It was not punished. Nice scoop with punishment right there from Tani. Both one round apiece. Excalibur with the two match lead, oh, though. Oh, and then, so that's the grab, right? It beats out the, the break blow. Yeah. And you can also remember that his, his Dragon Gunner is the offensive hole, too. Yes, it is. That's true. So he, he can beat it out regardless. Yep. <laughs> I like it. What's going to happen here? Good combo. Good amount of damage. Try to scoop him up. Was not successful. Here comes Excalibur. Wow, and Excalibur still went for that. And so and the Dragon Gunner looks like it's still completely intact. You well, mean, you know what makes it better? Is that you can do the Dragon Gunner, come up with a punch forward punch like he just did. And you got to remember, there's no stagger escaping. So, there's right. not, so that means that jab might come out. You know? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just realized game. that. I just realized what it you changes said. The game. That's insane because there's no side game. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, there's so much technology in this game right now. You guys don't even know. Yeah, plus 33 guard breaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that's different. <laughs> yes. So right there, if you notice, Tani did the stronger throw, which was the electricity. But he also went through the break blow right afterwards. Ooh. We'll win this round. That's a beautiful play from Tani right there. Yeah, yeah, really good. He evens it up. He needs to win this round so he doesn't get eliminated. Caliber Blades, he's just doing really well with Jan Lee. Yeah. I think it's just he's a natural DOA player, so obviously he knows how to hold. And then, of course, Jan Lee is one of those characters that can get a lot of damage very easily with some basic strikes. Yeah, and plus, it's a little bit easier for him to get his like bread and butter combos because the launches are a little bit better. They're a little more linear. They're, they're, they're easier for you to like land the key ones. Now, right there, one thing to take knowledge is <laughs> One thing to acknowledge is that he did the break blow mm -hmm. and canceled it. So he can actually do the break blow and cancel it right now. So what, what's the command to, to cancel it? You just got to push the free button or really? the, the hold button. Interesting. So as soon as you do the break blow, you can push the hold button. Now most people would think, well, what's the point of that? Right. Why do I want to lose the break hold damage? That is the well, question. Well, let me tell you something. Let me educate you real quick. Okay, let's say you do a super launcher throw. Mm -hmm. You do your juggle. Mm -hmm. Then you do a bound. Then you do the break blow. So you stand them up, you cancel, they can't hold, then you do another launcher. Oh wow, that's disgusting. I just that's what? just that's just one of many what? possibilities. That, I mean, just, that sounds crazy. So they can't wait, they can't hold normally, but can they hold with their they, they, uh, break hold? 
That's a good question, actually. <laughs> right. That's right. good. I'm trying to so think much, of ways so to much, counter you yo, already. <laughs> so much tech, even I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. But that's just to give you an idea of what the possibilities are. Yeah. There's a lot of creative freedom here with people's juggles. Everybody's going to have their own flavor. Yeah. So it's going to be really fun I, to see. I think, I think this is the first time we've actually gotten the stage in this particular exhibition. Yes. Tell us more about the stage. So the throwdown level has several danger zones. You have the crowd. They will push you back. You're vulnerable. You can still hold, but you'll be vulnerable for a certain amount of frames. Mm -hmm. Now, also on top of that, you have the fire from the barrel. You have the explosive cars. You have breakable uh, pallets on the background on both sides. And also, if you use a break blow, you can actually go through most of the pallets, giving you mass wow. destruction, giving wow. you extra damage. Mass destruction. It's, yeah, and so the stage, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful stage. And I thought that the citizen part where, where you got the actual people pushing you back into the match and it being a stun, I thought that was really cool because it gives you a situation where you can come up with some pretty serious combos. Yeah, you can see the, the environment just breaking apart here. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, the, the stage itself just evolves over time throughout the fight. It's really, really nice to see. Again, shout out to the Japanese developers, the team over in Japan for all of this work. I mean, it's, it's turned into a phenomenal product. It's just so much fun. I can't tell you enough how fun it is to play this game. Yeah. So right here, so we got... Hayabusa still got a shenanigans. With yep, his, uh... here we go. So we got the air throw. Oh, he tries to go oh, for the sit down. Oh, break hold. Not... Nice, nice reaction for Tani there. Here we go. What's going to happen here? He was waiting. He was trying to bait the break hold right there. He does not bite. Oh, my goodness. So he's just resetting there because he's got yeah, a throw, right? Yeah. He gets to do it again. Yeah, because he's waiting for him. He's waiting wow. to get out of the stun. You see what wow, I'm saying? that's great play from Caliber Blades. Yeah, Caliber Blades is actually waiting. He's not. It's not something you can just do over and over. He's actually waiting for him to get out of the stun, exactly. so you can reset him again. Exactly. It's smart play. Creative for him. freedom, my ninja. Creative freedom. Yeah. You got so many things you can do. And that's the name of DOA. So what just made DOA such a beautiful game is you have the ability to creatively make combos on the fly, and then and they can be highly damaging too. So you don't always have to optimize and do the bread and butter. You can just do yeah. something that's appealing to your style of play. Exactly. Change it up and it still be deadly. Yeah. Still be deadly. So right now, Tani struggling. He's down two rounds. Oh, he's nice down shot. a round actually. Okay, this is gonna go to the wall. This could be it. This Going for the is... break blow. Nope. And Caliber Blades. Oh! Oh! Nice you could have had it. Blow. Oh my goodness. Hayabusa <laughs> takes one to the chin. Tani feels a little bit bad about that one. He felt like he could have had that one. No doubt about it. He had an opportunity for sure. Yeah. So now we're gonna have Excalibur Blades versus Quiggle. This will be the final exhibition match. I hope you guys are enjoying it back at home. Uh, mm -hmm. You should, if you if you recognize something that you're just like, wait, what was that? You yeah. should be clipping that. Yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Clip you should it. be clipping that. Clip it. Clip it. Tag Team Ninja. Clap. Uh, tag DOA Tech. And it's, it's kind of wild. Like, you know, Caliber Blades and Quiggles, they always seem to find a way, no matter what event, exhibition, tournament, no matter what, they find a way to play each other. Yes. No matter yes. what. All the time. All the time. All the time. It's like these guys are just locked It's like a mission for them. them. It's like a mission for them. It's nuts. it's nuts. But I do have to say that this matchup right here, I'm mm -hmm. almost positive we're going to see Diego now. For people at home that don't already know this, is, <laughs> is that Diego is, is, a, is a fan favorite here right now. So yes. A lot of people love Diego. So yes. more yes. likely we're going to see Diego. Diego is uh, he's a very good character, and I like it. I like the fact that he's so strong. We were talking about this before in like previous DOAs. Like one of the most complete characters that were ever, was ever put together as a launch character was yeah. Rig, right? Yeah. And Diego has that feel where he has a complete set of tools to execute on day one. Gotcha. So he feels really good to play as. So right here, he didn't pick Diego. He's gonna go with Helena. So oh, it's gonna be, be Helena versus- Cause you Kasumi. told him about plus 33. I, I know. This is your fault. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I don't wanna show all the goodies. But again, he has three out of five. They may just um, be demonstrating some characters to figure exactly. out how they go. You guys get to see a, definitely a variety of characters. These guys both obviously know how to play several characters. Yes. So Quiggle, Quiggles. Caliber. Standing next Caliber into the crowd. Oh, and Quiggles is going to do the same exact thing that Caliber Blades did to Tani. Oh, oh he's he trying to. It. He, he was already, to. he was still in stun. He was still uh, in stun. That's right, that's right. So now, it's his turn. He's going to wait for it. He did, I think. No, no. He was still on high counter yep. throw, so it's not going to so work. He's not going to get it. And I'm not, neither of them have a full meter, so they can't do anything. And of course, this classic Caliber Blades always <laughs> looking to optimally whip punish anything he can see. Yes. Side step from Quiggle. Nice side step. In the quick attack, nice big punch hold. Now, right now, Excalibur Blades, his back is to the wall. Wow, yeah. tries to go for the punish, un un unsuccessful. Go to the launch. And nice, nice play from Quiggles here. 
Excalibur trying to get that throw was not successful. I think that's the second time he tried to go for it. it yeah, was not and Quiggles isn't having. He just refuses. He refuses to be thrown. Right now, the crowd don't even want to be touched. They're like, get off me. Exactly. And, and I like this. I like this. They're playing this at an optimally high level. Yep. For such an early build. He of tries to go for the break hold. Unsuccessful. Quiggle takes, takes massive damage from that. Gets a nice advanced mid kick hold. Gets another juggle up two to one. Yeah, and, and you're noticing from these players, like, they're starting to incorporate some of the new moves as well. New juggles for Kasumi as well. And so what I'm noticing is like when they get the when they get the counter hit damage on the life bar, it's it's like a it's like a kind of turns a little transparent. Yes. Is that an intended effect? Yeah, it's okay. an intended effect. It's just so you can be aware of where the threshold is and what you can do. Gotcha, okay. I'm curious about that. And of course, we forgot to even mention, you know, underneath the clock there is what's known as a four-way hold. Yes. So good eye. So what we're what we're saying here, right? Really, it's the four-way hold. That's the classic DOA system that we've been used to playing in DOA five. But there's also another option that players will have in DOA six to select the three-way hold. That is correct. What's different about that? So the three-way hold essentially gives you kind of that throwback feel of DOA two and DOA three. So back then, when you played DOA two uh, on your console, you had the capability of holding both mid attacks with the mid hold, okay. and. That has been incorporated here for people that may not or may struggle with the triangle system, and people can try that out. Uh, the majority of players, obviously, that are familiar with the four-way hold is the more advanced hold, is the more um, competitive hold. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why everybody plays on that hold. But if some people are playing Dead or Alive for the first time, you'll have the capability of using the three-point hold. Interesting. And so that was probably incorporated, right, because you wanted, you wanted the people who were just first-timers to be able to pick up the game and have an easier time at playing, right? Right. You want to be able to, you know, understand some of the, the basic uh, uh, triangle system mechanics, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. For some people, it's a little daunting, but for others, it's like, okay, I get it really quickly, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we give you that option. Um, it's, it's actually been an option that was in the past, actually, a long time ago. Really? You, uh, it was a little more advanced, <laughs> a little uh, unforgiving. You actually had to do double di double directions back yes. on DOA oh, two yeah. and DOA two hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a little too hard. <laughs> back in the day, yeah, I can, I can. So they kind of brought that option back again, a little bit with the old, a little bit with the new. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Right there, avoiding the sweep, looking like he's gonna go to the crowd. He does go into the crowd. The crowd does not like it. Pushes them right back. So it's interesting. It, it's also with the break gauge, because we noticed at the beginning of the round, we always it, whoever gets the first hit, it'll say like first hit on that player's side. Does the player who uh, gets the first hit at the beginning of the round build up more break gauge than the uh, normal? Uh, I can't confirm at this moment. Okay. At this moment, I can't confirm it. Okay. But at least it lets you know who got the first hit. Yeah. And right here, we're gonna get into the crowd. Yes. So Quiggle, taking advantage of the crowd probably the most, to be honest with you. Yes. He's very adept dribble. at being able to take advantage of his surroundings. Breaks the pallets. I just up. love that there's so much destructible pieces in this stage. Yeah, they, there's a lot of possibilities here. Right here, Excalibur Blade sends them into the brick wall. No, this wow. is the mass destruction I was talking about. <laughs> Look at that, all that, that extra life. That pretty awesome. Guess the guard break. So wait, wait, did you did you say if you get the mass destruction, do you do additional damage? Yeah. Wow. You get additional what? damage. What? But again, that's, that's cool. taking advantage of your environment. Something yes. that's very important in their life. Super cool. It's very strategic. You gotta pay attention to where you at. That mass destruction does pay out. That's pretty awesome. I like what I'm saying from the Like this game is so hype, it's so exciting. I like it. <laughs> I just wanna play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's a lot of fun. Nice break hold coming out of Excalibur. Another question I have for you. Yes. So, with um, not sit down stuns, right? Yeah. Typically, you're not allowed to hold. Can you use a break hold in those situations? Yeah, you can use a break hold in just about any situation. Okay. Uh, including the fatal rush, which the fatal rush is the one that prevents you from holding, period. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. You try to go for it right there. He was a little late. Yeah, I think that's going to be part of the strategy in the game is to trying to bait out those break holds when, a, when you know your opponent has meter. Exactly, and force them to burn the meter, right? Yeah. So right there, if you notice, Excalibur was actually trying to trick Quiggle so he could do the reset. Didn't work out. However, Quiggle will get the reset here. Quiggle's, yeah, Quiggle's looking really sharp right now. I don't think Calibur is going to survive this round. Well, he has a life lead, but one quick hit. Into the crowd yep. can change that, but not this time. Not this round. No, definitely not. So I do have to ask you though, what is your 
your favorite change or favorite aspect of this game so far that you like? What feels so good about it for you? You have been a veteran, you know, playing several DOAs. Yeah, I mean, favorite. Can I give you a top three? Yeah, sure. Top three, okay. So, off top, the stages. The stages themselves, the more destruction, the better. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a person that likes to see destructive environments. It's part of the reason why I started playing DOA anyways. Right. Because it was so much fun to just toss people into walls, see the destruction. So that's, that's off top number one to me. The second thing that I like that you guys have done is more technical. So you didn't, most sequels, um, a lot of the times you'll, you'll see a lot of changes that are maybe not necessary or very necessary, but in terms of the actual character's moveset, you guys didn't touch the moveset too much, you just expanded upon it. So you added depth, right? Yeah. That's something that I really, really, really like. And then lastly, the thing that, that I'm most interested in is just in the super technical pieces. There's no stagger escaping anymore. Yeah. It changes I think the game, that right? is awesome. We're, <laughs> we're going I know. back. I know. We're way, way back. I know a lot of people were kind of like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, but. When you start playing it, you start to realize, you know what? You don't need I it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah, so just, just to keep track of what's going on right now, Quiggle won the last match, so it's yeah. one on one. Remember, this is first to three. Yeah. So if, if you had to come up with your, your top three list of things that you like the most, I like changes wise. I, I'd have to say that I really enjoy the fluidity of the game. Mm -hmm. It's something about it just feels really nice and smooth. Yep. Um, and from intros to outros to the gameplay, um, that's one of my favorite things. You know, it just looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, it moves quickly. Uh, the second thing would be how the way they launch now. The way they launch is like you don't necessarily have that's to. Right. You don't have to, even though you don't have stagger skate, you don't have to necessarily play the stun system, yep. which gives you um, a decent launch, and you can be creative with your launch and still go into a break blow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I like that. And the third thing is a lot of the new moves. I like the new moves, new the new moves. mechanics. Yeah. The bound. I like the bound yeah. and, and mid-juggle. That's never been possible. Yeah. So I, it's just so much stuff going on that I just want to try. Mm -hmm. And just not enough time to try it. Exactly. Exactly. That's the thing. Like, we, we haven't even got to try it a whole lot. Yeah. But I'm excited to do so. For sure. And, and again, I, I think one of the things, like you said, is just the fluidity, the graphics. I can't say it enough. It's a beautiful game. Yeah, absolutely. So right now, Excalibur Blades having the life lead right now. Quiggle trying to come back. They both have full meter right here. It, um, Quiggle can actually use the meter right now. He probably could have used it right there and killed him, but he did not. Great whip punish from, from Quiggles there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's using HK to, to, to do a whip punish. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But it worked out for him, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a really, really smart choice on his part. So right here, gets hit by the low sweep, gets set down. Nice oh, break hold. Nice break hold. Nice hold from Quiggles. They space each other out. Kali is sitting on full meter. He has an option to just get up and do a break blow if he wants to. And one thing to uh, take into consideration for these players is, you know, they're still not used to it themselves. No, they'll see not. the meter and they forget about it. You know what I mean? A nice break hold from Kali. <coughs> Ooh. And and you can tell this this even though this is an exhibition set, the matches are close. Yeah. Because these two guys have played against each other they're so real, often. They're real close. They're using some of the new mechanics. Yeah. And and it's really cool to have this exhibition match. We really wanted to have it for the community. We really wanted to show off the game uh, with, to a large crowd. Let them know that there's a lot of technical aspects of, uh, of this game. The side attack, uh, the sidestep itself is back. Yeah. Um, so you, there's so much things going on with the break hold, the break blow, the break gauge, the fatal rush, the mm -hmm. bounce. It's just a lot it's of stuff. It's a taken. phenomenal looking game, man. It just looks awesome. It's got a lot of depth behind it. I think that it, it's the most important piece. It's so much depth behind it that you can't just take it all in in like five seconds. Yeah. You're gonna have to take time. It's hard to even take it in two days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a phenomenal game. As Caliber Blaze sticking with Helena. So Quiggles here, he's sticking with his guns too on Kasumi. Yes. And he's, I know he's one of the few that like, he's like, I need, I don't, I don't know about Diego, man. I don't know about Diego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's not a fan. But you, but you know, with Diego, when you're when you're thinking about him, uh, he's a strong character. Yeah. But you know, that's what you want from all of your characters. You want them all to be strong. Right. I think. Right. And there's some, and, and, and some of the new moves with Hayate. Hayate's incredible. Um, yeah. it's, it's crazy to see him. Uh, He's number. strong too. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Hayati's a real ninja now. It's crazy. It's <laughs> I know. Crazy. That's the news right now. A real ninja. I know you're going to clip it, so just go ahead and do it now. <laughs> Hashtag real ninja. Okay, great. I mean, Hayate looks nuts in this game. Like, the, the types of attacks and his combos that he has, it's really, really good. Yep. Nice side attack coming out of 
Quiggle. Was he able to beat the Ghetto Kick? Or at least exchange blows with it. Yeah, it looks Another like nice it. side attack. Very useful. That stuff is very useful. Yeah. Tries to come in for a punch. Go to the nice launcher. Break. Get great oh. health. But Caliber Blades is up two rounds to zero on and match point. I know, and match point. And nice. We haven't even seen that throw from Kasumi all weekend long. And it was nice. I'm glad that's back in the game as well because she's got some new options from that front flip, right? She's got right. a guard break now. Teleport. Or another guard break because she already had one guard break. But yeah. now this additional guard break hits medium, right? Right, with the, with the punch. Mm -hmm. And it also bounced as well. Yes, so right th it's right part of her juggling, yeah. Yep. And right there you just saw the guard break again coming from uh, Excalibur Blades. <laughs> He wants to make sure he uses it. Plus 33. Ooh. So I think I'm just looking at assuming how she plays. I think part of her new juggle um, bread and butter will be using that new uh, a new aerial attack. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then it's, it's also um, being able to, to know which juggle to do at the same time. So you can get that extra damage, get the bound, get the break blow in, or get another juggle in general. Or cancel the break blow. Uh, it's, it's just a list of things that you can do. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So they both have full meter, both on the final round of this match. Excalibur nice Blades match. could close it off right here. Jumped over the low, that's another thing. You'll notice that a lot of the jumping attacks will go over uh, uh, the lows a lot easier. A lot easier? So yeah. they, they have a uh, added property that allows, helps them get over the attacks now? Exactly, oh. so he free canceled right there, tries to go for the launch, it's unsuccessful. I was surprised he free canceled there. I know. Because that was over? <laughs> it was. He does not finish it right there. But okay. Quiggle's on his last legs right now. He needs to make something happen. He's got some work cut out for him. Oh, he gets good him. hit. And I like what Caliber Blades did. It's classic DOA. You think your opponent's going to hold, but you're not quite sure. So you throw on a slower attack just to get past the hold window. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He, he read it. He, he, he saw the window, and he went ahead and wrapped it up. So that'll be it for your DOA exhibition matches. Shout outs to all the players that came out here. 159 players registered for this event. All of you guys Amazing. watching at home, you guys are the real MVPs. Remember that, the real MVPs back at home. Thank you yeah. guys for watching. Truly, Thank truly. you for being here. Yeah. Shade, man, it's always a pleasure to be with you. Of course, Master, Ple of course. Pleasure to be here at EVO. Shout outs to all you guys, and we'll catch you guys at the next event at Gamescom with the new characters. That's right. Take when, it easy, guys. What's the date for Gamescom? August 20th. Awesome.